today, I want to talk about something that uh, a friend wrote to me the other day. Um, you know, I was having trouble with the visualization exercises that what I describe in my commentary of taking a pencil and inhabiting the pencil, basically. And he was, he asked me, um, which is the better approach? To shrink is awareness to the size of the pencil or to expand in his mind the pencil to the size of the human size? To either shrink himself or expand the pencil? And my reply was neither. Um, because consciousness, your awareness, really has no physical dimension. It's constantly changing. It's constantly changing size and it's constantly changing location. For example, real simple example, I've just broken my ankle, say. Well, part of my consciousness is going to always be in my ankle because it, it hurts like hell, right? So part of my awareness is always in my ankle. You know, I might be focusing on something else, but part of my awareness is always in my ankle. So consciousness not only moves, awareness doesn't only move, it splits itself, it expands, really. So normally, our awareness is focused here, in our head, our face, in our hands. Because these are the organs through which we interact most with the, the world around us. We're, through our visual senses, and through our tactile sense, and for those with outside, through the auditory sense, you know, it's, it's listening, and that happens from here. Our sight happens from here. So our awareness is almost always in our face. This is resh, the letter resh, the face, the, the focus of attention the place where it is mostly focused. But when we close our eyes and go inside, we can move our awareness anywhere within our body. My right toe, my left thumb, my you know right knee, my le right shoulder, my left, sh you know. I can put my awareness anywhere in my body. And with enough focus, I can spread my awareness simultaneously throughout my whole body and sense my whole body. And we can just as easily move that awareness into other objects, other people, other beings. It's no more difficult to do that than to focus my awareness in my right knee. And my awareness doesn't come with a size and a shape. You know, it just, it's essentially very, very small. And, but we can make it any size we want. It doesn't matter. We can move into an atom with our awareness. Or we can move our awareness into an elephant. You know, it, Size doesn't matter to awareness. We can have our awareness just focused right here, or, you know, we can spread it throughout our entire body, or move it to another location. So awareness is very mobile and very plastic. It can be any shape. It doesn't matter. There is no, there is no need to make a thing so complex that is so simple. We don't have to figure out, you know, what size we want our awareness to be in order to fit into something, you know. It's just not something we should worry about. So, that's that.
See you next time. Bye-bye.